Hi, I'm Ryan, and today I'm here to talk to you about the new Terminator X LT controller for Gen 5 LT and L83 engines. So far, we've developed it and have support for the L83, L86, and LT1 engines, and we're currently working on support for the LT4. This system consists of a new controller that goes in line with the Terminator X and allows control of the VVT, the rail pressure, all of the actual direct injection stuff that you're used to in a stock Gen 5 engine as well as our normal drive-by-wire and transmission control for four-speed transmissions. So what we control right now is an L83, an L86, and an LT1 engine with a stock fuel pump lobe. We're working on support for the oversized fuel pump lobes, like the 32% that you'll commonly see. Uh, we're also working on support for the LT4 engine that'll be coming eventually. Uh, it'll work with any LS drive-by-wire throttle body. It'll also work with any of the LT drive-by-wire throttle bodies. Uh, there are currently two, there's the L83 and then there's the LT1, LT4 throttle body. So currently we support the GM direct injection with Terminator X. We support LS, LT throttle bodies, drive-by-wire in general, and transmission 4L80 and 4L60 support. One of the great things about this is it gets rid of all of your torque modeling, engine nannies, and other safeties that come on the GM ECUs that make swapping into you know, old vehicles so difficult. You know, it makes modification a ton easier. This one's cammed right now. It's a cam 6.2 that we've been running, and it's awesome. The LT is really, really a step ahead of the LS engines. The direct injection and the new cylinder head design and everything else really lends itself to you know, more power with less fuel, and overall, just they make a ton of power, they idle better, they do everything nicer than the LS does and make more power on top of them. So another benefit of DI in general is putting the fuel directly in the cylinder instead of the port allows you to get away with more compression, higher air temps, more boost than you could otherwise. You're not wasting time trying to cool off the intake port instead of the cylinder. So in the Terminator X, we're gonna have tables that allow you to adjust the rail pressure, the cam position, and for the most part, that's the only thing unique about it. Other than that, it's your normal fuel and spark tuning and other things you tune with any multi-port fuel injected engine. So it's just like tuning a multi-port engine, other than you have rail pressure you can adjust, variable cam timing, and injector end angle, which you shouldn't need to touch much, but is critical to have correct on a DI engine. No laptop required, so you'll be able to plug in with the handheld answer a few questions and be able to start up and run it just like you can any other Terminator X product. So the wiring harness is pretty similar if you've ever done a multi-port install of Terminator X. The only difference is because we have the second box there will be a second harness that goes to the engine and it strictly just plugs into the injector connectors and then plugs into the Terminator X's main harness so that they can talk to each other. Other than that it is your standard plug in your sensors, plug in your injectors and you're done. So it's set up to plug into the factory injector sub harnesses that come on the engines from GM. Being a Terminator X product, it's fully compatible with all of our dashes and handhelds and other peripherals. Pricing starts at $19.99 and goes up to $24.99 with trans and drive-by-wire control.